Let me do this part right here. Ooh, hey, 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 it's going round. It's breaking many hearts. Yes, it is. Stop with please before it's gone too far. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. The force of evil plans to make you its possession. And it will, it will let it destroy everybody. We all must take precautionary measures. And if love and peace you treasure, then you hear me when I say, got to hold on to love. It's in me of love today. No oh, delay. I could go on and on, but y'all get the picture. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, I'm not going to be on here on this particular. Um, I'm going to be back with another video later, but right now I just want to address one of the comments, one of these um, that was placed about one of the videos I did about. Is Trump demented or something? I think that was the one it was. Um, and you already know your comment was um, you know, the Democratic Party is racist against Trump and also that uh, there is a conspiracy basically to do away with the white man um, and uh, and it's amplified from the progressives and the liberals to pretty much destroy the white community. And it's very important that y'all represent in a way to let people know that, you know, you're here and you're not going to be taken advantage of. You know, I hate to shudder to think you know, it's almost like Jews will not replace us. You know, Jews, uh, my comment to you, and like I said, I'll make this very short and sweet. I do not, Donald Trump did not create racism. Okay, let's get that straight. Donald Trump did not create the hatred and the other, the vilification of black people, um, that is not Donald Trump's creation, okay? Racism, man. That was all a part of United States of America, sexism and all them isms before Donald Trump got into office. So I want to be real clear about that. Uh, I think you called yourself devil, the white man bad or something, but let me say this. What Donald Trump has successfully done is taking advantage of our differences and he's magnified them. He's he it's almost as if he's taking lighter fluid and poured it on smothering wood. Or you know how the great late great Muhammad Ali said, I'm gonna be picking and a poking and putting water on your smoking. Well, no, this guy is putting gasoline on an already volatile situation. 
I really believe left to our own devices and without the people that are trying to divide us and that spend a lot of time being successful at it, that people will get along to a degree. I do believe that love and fear is the only, the strongest two forces in the universe. Now, that's what I believe so far. And uh, and and like I said, I I, I believe now I, I, I got more time behind me than I got in front of me. And so this is what wisdom has taught me. Um, if you operate not in fear, you can go shoot up a mosque or shoot up a church because your your heart is sick. You you're in fear and mentally you and you had sin in your heart and in your mind. And it's a it's a form of hell basically. And for some of y'all to think that um first of all that nature has nothing to do with the condition or the the the, um, the uh, state that you find yourself in is to be even more pompous, as opposed to you saying, "Okay, I've allowed this capitalism, this madness to go on far enough. How can we roll? How can we reel this back in, just for the sake of our planet?" Some of y'all are so arrogant and so pompous, and that it has become such a divide and conquer tactic that. No, if you're not a Republican, then you want to do this. And that person is not a liberal. And it's so damn crazy because, in my opinion, they, they are both are the same. They are different wing on the same bird. And if you understand tools for division, then you can see what's happening here. And it's so ridiculous to the point where it's like Dr. King said, either we're going to learn to live together or we're going to perish as fools. Now, at the end of the day, you can't stop the um, population of black people. You can't stop the population of brown people. This is something that the founding fathers um, didn't think when they wrote, when they signed the declaration, but it is something that Thomas Jefferson thought about. He said, these numbers are growing, and these people, uh, you know, I... This is horrible. I shudder to think what's happening. There are some people like Kosciuszko that knew that the, the um, numbers were getting too out of control. That was way back then. And people that could see the future or could say stuff like, how can this go? How can this system sustain itself? The numbers are getting larger. And instead of y'all looking at that as a, a, a way out to... Maybe reconstruct a few things. You're so addicted to greed and power that you would rather kill yourself and kill the world than to share it. And that's where the travesty comes in. Because disease, war, hatred, greed, oh, wow, that is something. But all those are manufactured constructs. And if we don't find a way around those things, that's what's going to be the, the, the death of us. And so what I was, I know I went all the way around to say, I told you in my response to you that as a descendant of a slave, as much abuse, thievery, murder, Mayhem, rape, lying, I, out of all the abuse that, as my, as a descendant of a slave, my generation, my descent, my um, descendants have suffered under your hands. I I still don't think that every white person should be eliminated off, eliminated off the first face of the earth. That thought has never crossed my mind. Oh, I think you should be punished for some of the things. And retribution is very powerful. But I've never thought that, should we just wipe you off the face of the earth? And so you, the fact that your mind is thinking like that, that people want to take you off the face of the earth, that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is your evil nature is going to take you off the face of the earth. 
not being able to recreate yourself because you are diabolically in, in, opposed to life. That's what's going to take you out of here. You don't have to worry about black people taking you out, brown people taking you out. Your inability to reproduce yourself because of the evilness that you have done throughout the diaspora. You don't want to see it. You can't even call yourself to heal. Like Hillary Clinton said, call us to heal. You need to call yourself to heal. To look at this whole situation with a different set of eyes, a different lens. And unfortunately, I don't think that you can. So that is the problem. The problem is not whether a group of people want to eliminate white people off the face of the earth. I've never heard that in any circles that I travel in. I've never heard it, period. So maybe I don't travel in those circles. But I will say, with all due respect to you, y'all going to take yourself off the planet with the hate and the evilness. That you've accepted it. Now I know just how the Jews felt. The ones that went to Auschwitz. And the ones who went. Now you. I mean you can you can see it. How the rest of the world sat back and did nothing. While anarchy was starting to go on. Was going on all around them. And then pretty soon the Jews were put into those ovens. And y'all know the history. So we are very diabolical. And as a group of people. Y'all have done. A bunch of crazy things that black people didn't do. You're responsible for doing it. Brown people didn't do it. You're responsible for doing it. King Leopold, all that kind of stuff. You guys are responsible for those aberrations of nature. But what I will say this is if you don't call your people to heal, then you're going to destroy a beautiful, a beautiful earth. That God has made for us. We not we can't even enjoy it because of the detrimental things that you've done to the planet, the environment, and you don't want to be brought to heal. So that's what the problem is. And unless we address that, we're going to hell in the handbasket, like a, or a rocket ship. So I just wanted to address that. To you, W white man, uh, whatever you call yourself, I can't even remember it, but it's all good. Just take, just, just, just heed the words that I'm saying. Nobody wants to wipe you off the face of the earth. Y'all wiping yourself off the face of the earth. All right. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you in the next video.